Hi there, my name is Jacob. And I'm Ramona. And we're from Promised Land Stories. And during my time here, I have realized how extremely blessed I am at the fact that I can experience the feasts, one of which is Passover. And we thought we would get together and show you guys just some of the different elements that make up that feast. Years ago, um, I was invited to attend a Passover with um, a Jewish family. And one thing that stood out for me about that night was how long it was. Um, it was beautiful. The father sang through a booklet and it, it felt like it went on forever. Um, there were some questions that were asked that very first experience. I was amazed um, because um, they really tell the whole Exodus story of how, how God brought them out of slavery and then through all the ten plagues. That was just the beginning of all adventure and discovery of the Feasts of God. It's not Passover tonight, but I wanted to just have you taste something that's very typical. This is called um, Tzimitz. It's, it's carrot and uh, sweet fruit and um, cinnamon with it. And then there's not much else that is traditional here. Um, the Jewish people have various elements. One of them is kind of a leftover from Exodus 12. Yeah. God gave instruction that they would have on their tables roasted lamb and unleavened bread and then bitter herbs. So this is one of the images that they use is they, they put salt into water and that represents the tears that, um, that they cried during their slavery and then they dip it in that salt water and then they eat it. Hmm. I oh, know. That does not sound appetizing <laughs> at all. Well, I like salt, so it is uh, quite salty. And then, of course, they have four cups of wine. And they have this uh, traditional bread. Um, Why is it so flat? <laughs> it doesn't have yeast in it. But there's a specific order in which God instructed them to do things. It started a few days earlier. On the first of Nisan, that was yeah. the day that God told Moses had to be the beginning of the year. Ten days later, on the tenth of Nisan, they were instructed to take a oh. lamb into their homes. And basically the lamb had to be there for about four days. They had to examine the lamb to see if there was any blemishes because they were supposed to offer God a perfect sacrifice. And then on the 14th, of the son that they had to sacrifice this lamb. Now the instruction was that they had to uh, roast the lamb, they were not allowed to boil it. Yeah. And you know in the uh, Samaritan culture, here in Israel we have a small community of Samaritans and left, but they still adhere to the Torah of Moses in a way. Um, and every year they have uh, Passover. Years ago there was um, video footage of this little boy that stood there crying. It's in the middle of all of the slaughtering and they're skinning the lambs and it's blood and I almost want to say naked animals but animals without wool. And here's this little boy and he's crying his heart out. And all I could think when I looked at him is the lamb that his dad is now killing has become his pet. It's become an animal that he loves. Yeah. And it was just that thought of, you know, this costs, this hurts. So it actually reminds me of something that happened when I was studying. It was called uh, Cultural Backgrounds. And I knew that we were going to slaughter a lamb that night. And I'll never forget how one of the other students took this big butcher's knife and slid it over its throat. And it was just a clean cut. And I remember how, you know, the blood was spurting by the heartbeat. Now remember that blood going into the sand and it was such a real experience of an animal that was completely innocent. It cost, it was painful, it was not an easy experience. Yeah. But there's something else that's very very interesting to me with a Samaritan Passover and that is that they had these huge fire pits and this hole in the ground and they prepare coals there, they roast the man animal and um, 
And that reminds me of the suffering of our Lord. Mm. You know, we as Christians believe that Jesus is the Lamb of God. Yeah. Uh, there's a painting by Jeffrey Hakes, and he says when he did it, he started off with this big lamb, and then he felt no, it had to go smaller. And eventually he ended up painting this little wobbly lamb. Um, in a very dark space surrounded by wolves and um, makes reference to the book of revelations that has this word onion yeah. that speaks about a wobbly lamb a baby lamb and you have the pigeon people yeah. they don't have a word for a lamb they call jesus god's baby sheep guy <laughs> so you so you have this idea that, that Jesus is precious and yeah. dear to the Father. And um, I, think, I think if we can put these pieces together, the, the little boy crying, the wobbly lamb, and God's baby sheep guy, and realize that, that Yeshua, Jesus, was uh, very near to the Father's heart. Yes, yes the, uh, the lamb is very precious. And so is its blood. And the blood is also powerful. For example, on that night of the 14th of Nisan, it protected the Israelites when they sprinkled their blood on their doorposts. In the book of Revelations, it says, We overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb. But there's something else uh, that I've come to understand about the matzah, and I would just like to share that with some of the viewers. So just imagine. There's a whole table full of people and they all take one piece of bread and they break that into little tiny pieces. And each person gets one tiny little piece. And then they eat it. Then where does that sit? In their stomach. And then this one piece of bread is inside all of them. And that connects them. That's amazing. So that makes all of them one body, right? Yes, we who are many are one body. Well, I think Passover is a very precious meal and um, I think we have a lot to learn from the Jewish people. But by far the fulfillment and the imagery of Yeshua being the Lamb of God and being the spotless, yeast-free, sin-free person that, um, that has given these elements to us as his own body and his own blood. Mm. That is a, that's a treasure. Yes, indeed.